Peace family, Lions Den here with another news and commentary. It's funny that this pastor says, quote, there will be no white supremacists if it wasn't for Barack Obama. This pastor said that. I mean, literally, he said that. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video, and then I'm going to give you the rest of my commentary. I tell you, anyone who has tried to condemn Trump for what they said was not being forceful enough, not being timely enough in condemning the white supremacists, who anyone who has done that and who has not condemned Black Lives Matter as a hate group, as an extremist group, as an outlaw group, they are hypocrites of the worst order. And they are the ones, I believe, as responsible as any hate groups. As a matter of fact, far more so for the divisions rising in America than the white supremacist groups. Why do I say that? Because the white supremacist group probably wouldn't exist now if it had not been for Obama. They were just about fading out. We had just about dealt with racism in America. And one of the things I, I thought, too, I thought with Obama being elected, I didn't like his policies. I didn't like anything he was running on. But I said, I am so proud to be a part of a nation that would elect someone from a minority like that as their president. And I thought he was, one thing I thought he would do was he would you know, help continue the healing of the racial divisions in America. Didn't happen. Went the other direction. Fueled, threw fuel on the fire of racism in our country. Continue to this day from the left, mostly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know, guys... This pastor likes to blame Obama for a lot of stuff. But I, in my opinion, he went over top on this one. Let's just start from the beginning, shall we? He just said that he, he you know, you, you heard what he said in the video, that Black Lives Matter is a hate group. Wow. And that, you know, former President Barack Obama is the reason why, you know, if it wasn't for him, white supremacists would exist. Okay. Let's start it from the beginning, shall we? I'm going to educate this pastor for a second since, you know, respectively, since he's the man of the cloth. Now, when Barack Obama won in 2008, and I never forget this, you know, white supremacists was on the rise. Obviously, th there's, thing, there's this group called the Tea Party. And the Tea Party is the reason why that basically that Barack Obama has been attacked, obviously, racially attacked, not just from him, but from his wife and children, Malia and Sasha. So then on top of that, you know, even congressional leaders, even con a Congress named Joe Wilson, calling the president of the United States, Barack Obama, during that time, out loud in the State of the Union address, Saying that you lie. Not one president, not no other presidents had never been disrespected since Barack Obama has been sworn in. And then at a secret meeting, the Republican leadership had a secret meeting with fellow Republicans in the House and the Senate. And they made it clear what they're trying to do to this president by not succeeding his goals. Like, for example, he tried to put, introduce bills in the House and the Senate, and you notice that they f keep filibustering all the, all the bills that have been introduced by former President Barack Obama. And the, you forgot about the Supreme Court justices. Remember before he left um, his term, Mitch McConnell said, said that they would not, Look for any supreme. He will not confirm the Supreme Court just until the next president comes in. That's before Barack Obama even left office, and basically the same Mitch McConnell says that the the only goal they looking for, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, he said that he he will make sure that Barack Obama will be a the one term president. That's Barack Obama's first four years, when. 
the supposedly the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said that, and other senators and House members attacked this the president, who never get a chance to even put bills in the House and the Senate floor, and yet. You said that Barack Obama is the reason why, if it wasn't for Barack Obama, Barack, Barack Obama that white supremacists will, won't exist. And then you call the former president a monkey. You call Michelle Obama, um, Barack's, I mean, this is what Bill O'Reilly said, that Barack Obama, uh, Michelle Obama, it was Barack's baby's mama, informing in a lynching party. That's Bill O'Reilly. And you have another idiot that said, if Barack Obama wins again, I will be dead or in jail. These are your groups that are saying this. Barack Obama didn't start this. Your people said this, Pastor. The right wing, the, the people that, that did this. And ever since then, the white, and believe me, everybody, when Trump won the presidency, and you know, the white nationalists financed his campaign, even former KKK leader David Duke support Donald Trump. So, Pastor, don't tell me that Barack Obama was the one that is the reason why he formed the white supremacists, because the white supremacists has always been here. White supremacy has always been here way before Barack Obama even sworn in. Now, I may disagree with his policies. I may disagree what. Barack Obama sometimes do for the black community, which basically he don't do none for the black community, in my opinion. But as far as him, there's the reason why white supremacy is, is out here. That's a damn lie. And by the way, you forgot about what making death threats against President Obama while he was president. It's constantly... No other president received any a lot of death threats than Barack Obama has, all because he's the only African American president of the United States. So when the pastor make his point that, and he's talking about Black Lives Matter, okay, George Soros created Black Lives Matter. However, Black Lives Matter is not a terrorist group. It's just like saying you could us say that the uh, the Tea Party is a terrorist organization. But we're not going to go there because you have any no factual information. But the Black Lives Matter didn't lynch a white person. Black Lives Matter didn't threaten uh, a white politician. Black Lives Matter didn't start shooting up um, white people for no apparent reason. Black Lives Matter didn't go out and make threats to uh, congressionals and Senate, Senate leaders. Black Lives Matter didn't do that. So, but yet you call Black Lives Matter uh, a terrorist group. Basically, what kind of terrorist group they have. And guess what? And then all of a sudden, you have white nationalists who commit more ter acts of terror than any other people in this country. So, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we can agree to be disagreeable. But this pastor needs to do some research. Do some research of everything that's going on. Because... The problem is he he listen, he listened too much Fox News and too much Glenn Beck and too much um, Bill O'Reilly instead of thinking outside of the box and find out what the real truth is. And again, white supremacy is always here, way before Barack Obama even sworn in. And basically, that um, white supremacy is not even a group; it's a system, the system of white supremacy that's messed everything up. It's not just about one man, and then all of a sudden, it did, and all of a sudden you saying that oh, and I and I guarantee the same pastor didn't vote for um Obama anyway. He probably vote for John McCain, and but the point is, is that it's that's irrelevant right now. It doesn't really matter because I know for a fact that Obama may have done some things, but he shouldn't have been treated with disrespect. And at all the presidencies in this country before him, you never see any death threats. You never see any slurs that go out to this president or call him "you lie" on a State of the Union State of the Union address. You don't see none of that from the previous presidents: Bush, Clinton, 
um, jo um, George Herbert Walker Bush, Reagan. You never see any people from the left or anybody of, of, of African-American community call them names. So, or disrespect them in any way, disrespect the office of the presidency. But, but come to Barack Obama, he's been one of the most hated presidents in history because of people like you. Because of racist, racist people like you. So I'm going to end this um, commentary with this. Now, when Donald Trump sworn in, before he sworn in, even during his campaign, you notice that he's been basically, the white nationalists has been backing him, sending him all kinds of millions and millions of dollars. They supported Trump. I mean, and guess what? And by the way, Donald Trump, and you're talking about why they don't know why Donald Trump being disrespected. No, Donald Trump disrespected himself. Because obviously, his own daddy was a member of the KKK in New York. And in all this, he, and he's been around with Steve Bannon and Steve Miller, who are also white nationalists. So don't don't ever claim that oh, it was, wasn't for Obama, white supremacists don't, I mean, if it wasn't for Barack Obama, white supremacists wouldn't exist. White supremacy is always here. The system of white supremacy is always here. You just basically try to enjoy your white privilege, but it's, it's always here. And that's all. And that's it. And that's it from this conversation. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe my Black Johnson channel. For more news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lion's Den signing off. Deuces.